Hi everybody, welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today we're going to talk about one of the most common birds in, uh, now in urban areas and it is the number two complaint of urban wildlife. Uh, deer are uh, the only animal that I get more reports of damage complaints than the Canada goose. We are all familiar with the Canada goose. Um, if you are as old as I am, you remember that we used to, especially here in the heart of the country and in North Carolina where I was from, the, we only saw Canada geese in the winter. And they would migrate down, a big flocks, we'd hear them overhead and they would come in in the fall, late fall in the winter and they settle into wetland areas. And they were one of the most popular game birds that there were. I mean, they, they, uh, goose hunting was a huge tradition among many, many people. Well, what happened? They have slowly transitioned to a very common nester, especially in urban areas all across all oh, the, the country, really. The southern, you know, the mid part of the country, especially even in the southern parts of the country. But what happened? Well, you know, grandma and grandpa would take little grandkids out at the area lakes and parks and they would throw the popcorn out and feed the geese. They thought it was really cute. And the geese thought it was, okay, great. This is a free meal for us. And they ate the big, they ate the popcorn and they, this bread that people threw out. Well, these birds started going, well, why the heck do I risk flying all the way back up to the, the tundra to, to make my nest in the prairie pothole regions up in Canada when I can just stay here and eat this popcorn until the gra green grass starts coming up and then I can eat the green grass, I can have babies and I can live my life out here. Well, that was fine when there wasn't that many. But what happens now, there are more and more nesting geese in urban areas and they... <laughs> <laughs> they have lots of babies. And then in the fall and winter, whenever the migrant birds, that those that still won't go up north to nest, when they come in in the fall and winter, you've got these resident birds around these urban lakes and ponds, and they're going honk, 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 and these birds flying over go, oh, look, friends, and they come down. And all of a sudden, you've got hundreds of Canada geese around your in your neighborhood eating your grass, and boy, they can produce a lot of poop. So the real topic of today's program is about them being flightless because we're used to seeing them uh, flying like this and seeing them in big flocks. But if, you, if you're observant now, you may have noticed that, well, I haven't seen the geese flying around lately. Well, we saw in the spring and in, in the early part of summer, we saw them with their goslings, their little cute little babies following them around and all, uh, and, and, and everybody loves them and they, they, oh, they're so cute. Well, they get older. And when you think in like midsummer to late summer, all of a sudden, all you're doing is seeing them is walking. You're not seeing them flying. You're seeing them walking in like in our shopping center. We, we, we see them. This is out back of my store. And we have this flock that's been hanging around for, oh, oh now at least a couple, three weeks. And then now they're, they're going to continue for the next three or four weeks. And the reason for that is, is they cannot fly. Uh, when you're a bird as heavy as a Canada goose, if you lose one or two uh, flight feathers, then your body, your wings can't produce enough lift to pick up your heavy weight. And birds have to molt. They have to replace old worn feather with fresh new ones. Well, with the Canada geese, they molt in midsummer, mid to late summer. And so small birds, they produce, they can lose one feather and, and then another one comes in to replace that feather and never miss a beat flying. But for a bird the size of a Canada goose, they can't do that. So they have this four to six week period where they are flightless in mid to late summer. And they, you know, people use take advantage of this to try to control them when they can't fly and herd them up and things like that. But for us, we're just, it's a curious thing. And, it, and it's pretty amazing that they survive. Now, they how do they keep from getting eaten by coyotes and things? Well, obviously, there's less coyotes in urban areas. But also, they, you know, they'll spend the night, they'll roost out in the open water so that predators can't get to them. So if you've noticed that the geese aren't flying, you're not imagining things. It is true. This is that period of summer right now 
late mid to late summer whenever the geese are flightless. And of course, the young birds are getting their are first flight feathers are big so that they'll be able to fly uh, after this period. And so they'll all be able to fly and they'll mainly move out to wetlands and part of winter eating on aquatic weeds and things like that. And then, of course, they'll, they'll be joined by their friends from the north for over the winter and in the spring before they head back south. So like I said, if you have noticed that the uh, the geese aren't flying around in your neighborhood? That's the answer. Molt. Now, all birds have to molt, but when geese do it, it leads to flightlessness for four to six weeks. So not a great idea for a program. It's a, 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 an interesting topic that a lot of people don't know. They you, And now they can put that together. So thanks for that idea. If you like the programs, please give us a like, give us a share. You know, I load the channel up with all kinds of informational videos, and hopefully you'll find the topic that you like best. Just do a search on the channel of what bird or what activity you want to learn more about, and it should be on there. All the information in the description and the contact and all that is all in the description below. So until next time, let's talk birds.